This is TAT number 15, I believe. I just want to have a chat with you about a few things. Uh, not a whole lot. I want to talk to you a little bit about a Yompy. I want to talk to you about a video that I saw on YouTube about Ecuador, a uh, narco state, you know, with big question mark. And I want to talk to you about shopping at the Mercado, and I want to talk to you about El Nino, and I'll get started right after this. Hey! Oh, Rocket Chick Roger! Hello there! So, I finally went to a Yompi. I, I put together a video to share with you folks about my trip to a Yompi. I didn't get as much footage as I would like to have gotten. I, I think that I could have done a better job, but I got what I got. I'm going to show you some of it. Not all of it, just some of it. Stella and I went down there for the weekend. Stella has a daughter-in-law that lives down there. But a daughter-in-law and a son, but her son is in an, another, it's in Hawaii. And they they have a beautiful little house down there. And I, I got to tell you, a Yampi is probably one of the best places that I've visited on the coastal region of Ecuador. I'm sure there's other areas. People will probably disagree with me on that, but, you know... Everybody's entitled to their opinions, but I thought a Yompi, for those of you that are from Texas, now I'm sure you're familiar with South Padre Island. And that's what I thought of when I was at a Yompi, was South Padre Island. That's what it felt like. It's not as big as South Padre Island, but the beach, as you'll see from the video here in a few minutes, the, the beach is huge. And when we were there, it was really low tide. So you don't freak out for all of you, all those of you that say, "Oh, there's too many rocks. There's too many rocks," because the beach was really low. And the tide was really low when we were there, but up on the beach where the actual beach is, uh, it's, it was beautiful. You know, I the thing I liked about a Yampi was it was. I know you're tired of hearing this, but it was quiet. The restaurants had cafe music playing. There was no loud music playing. There were no cars, car horns going off. I didn't hear a single alarm go off the whole weekend that we were down there. It was an absolutely quiet, peaceful, paradise-like place to be for the weekend. I can't wait to go back. I'm waiting for the next time they have a big celebration here in Monta, and I'm going to go there. I, we stayed at this place called Bia's. Las Olivas. It looks like Olivas, Olivas. Oh, oh, here, well, here, I'll spell it out. Right here, okay? Right there. All right. And beautiful resort. They had probably, I don't know, five or six rooms that were in a row. It's inside it's like a compound. The gate closes up, but it's a sliding gate. When they close the gate behind you, your car is safe and sound. You're in a in a compound, so to speak. Got a beautiful swimming pool. No, it's not heated, but who cares? It's still the whole seating area outside where you could sit. You can see from the video here uh, and that, you know, it was just, it's a very well manicured place. It's beautiful. They have a little bar, a little kitchen area where they serve you breakfast in the mornings. I think the rate for this place is like 150 a night. I didn't have to pay that. I had to, we had somebody else made arrangements for our stay. Thank you very much. And uh, I didn't have to pay, but I believe that the rate was $150 for the night. The room that we stayed in had a king-size bed. The rooms had hot water. Everything. Well, I'll tell you what, it had everything but a TV. But who needs a TV when you're down there, okay? You don't need a TV. It was nice to get away and not be glued to a television. I was just with Stella. We sat outside by the pool after dark and we drank our wine. We had a nice visit. And when it's time to go to bed, we went to bed. It was a great experience. Nothing to wake us up or anything. It was nice and quiet. And occasionally we'd hear a car or motorcycle down on the mountain. But, you know, it's not, 
not like living in the big city of Monta, okay? So anyway, uh, I encourage you, if, you, if you're going to come here and you're going to live in the coastal region, uh, you got to go see Ayampi. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Monta. Probably be about 45 minutes if it wasn't for the damn potholes. That's, that's the bad part about it, is the damn potholes. The, the highway is horrible between here and Puerto Cayo and Puerto Lopez. There's one section that you can see from the very beginning of the video that we went through. It was a good concrete highway, but guess what? Not a single shoulder. The highway, the boundary of the highway, a two-lane highway, was a curb. And you, as you can see in the video, there's these idiots that stop right there in the highway so they can get out and take pictures of the trees that is going over the highway. Come on, folks. Bring your common sense with you when you come down here. I'm getting all riled up already. I was there. I was, mm, I was just trying to be calm and talk about Iampi. But, boy, it makes me mad as hell when people do stupid shit like stop in the middle of a damn highway to take a picture. Man, anyway, they did. We had to stop because we had a bus coming. I didn't want to run. I didn't want to run over this big bus. But anyway, okay. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. But, but stupid people. But, okay. So on the next thing, you, here you can see the video. Here we can you can watch it now. Okay. So let's just stop in the highway. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, so that's a Yampi. You saw a Yampi. Next time I go down there, I'll do some more video. The restaurants are really cool. There's just a great atmosphere, super atmosphere, super good food, good price, everything. Just everything. There's nothing to not like about being there. Okay, I saw, I stumbled across a video. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. It's called Ecuador, a narco state. Okay, it's a great uh, short video clip. You know, I, I, I don't know why I want to talk about this because I know it'll get a lot of people alarmed because there's all this talk around the world. Oh my God, it's so so much crime in Ecuador. It's so violent there and everything. And But, you know, again, I'm going to say it's all political. It's a cartel. You know, if you come in here, you don't get involved in drugs, and you're not involved in politics, you really have nothing to worry about. I mean, I'm don't I'm not laying that out there as a guarantee. Okay, anything can happen. I mean, there was a, a an innocent person was killed when the mayor got shot here. A famous football player, female football player, she kind of got caught in the crossfire, and she got killed. Very unfortunate, you know, and my condolences to her family and her survivors. But anyway, there, I thought this was interesting to see this video. I encourage you to watch it, okay? But I also encourage you to watch it with an open mind. I'm not going to take a position on this because I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to put myself in danger because here, even a YouTuber can get themselves in trouble with what they say on their channel okay so the election is coming you know the elections coming up next month they'll be electing a interim president to fill in for lasso for the end of his term and then we elect a new president you know okay a new uh, longer term president i don't know that i'll even be here at that time but you know it's gonna everything that happens in the next few weeks it's going to have a profound impact on the future of this country but folks I'm again I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you it's, it's quite incredible what some people have said I'm going to read a couple things to you okay I saved them and I put them aside here so I can share it with you in this video there's a comment you know uh, comment section just like my videos um, well so what did I, oh, okay, this one guy here said, Nick, Nick's AP4234, he's not one of my subscribers, this is some guy that left a comment on this narco video, said two weeks ago, that's when this was posted, 
You, you have YouTubers still recommending Ecuador as a retirement spot. That's crazy. No? With a question mark. You know? I'm not recommending Ecuador as a retirement spot. I don't recommend anything as a retirement spot. I'm not stupid, you know? I, as you know, I tell about what I'm doing, where I'm at, how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, and so forth. But I'm not recommending anything, okay? But I'm, I am saying this, and I apologize for that. I'm going to mute my phone here so that will stop. They, I am saying you do your research, you listen to me or whoever you want to, and then you make up your mind and where you want to go. But I'm pretty happy here. There are a lot of things about living here that's not for me. I think it's more pertains more to Monta than it does Ecuador. There's great places to live in Ecuador that would make me perfectly happy, but unfortunately my health won't allow it. I can't live in high altitudes. I would love to live in Cotacachi or Cuenca or maybe even Loja. That would be the last of my choice. But anyway, uh, so anyway, look at that video, all right? Uh, there's another guy that, re that left a comment that I saved and he said this is Robert Das ZG8OR again it's not one of my subscribers this is a viewer that left a comment in the section on this video says uh, no I won't be in Ecuador for the winter from Canada to the tip of Patagonia every country has fallen due to strong or to due to drug addicts in the US. At this point, drug addicts are doing better than the government at topping foreign countries. Well, I don't I don't know if I agree or disagree with that. I'm not going to agree or disagree. I don't I, I and it's not just the US. I mean, there's there's drugs, lots of drug addicts in Canada too, Robert, okay? I'm sure you'll agree with me, and even if you don't, I don't give a damn. But you can't, don't blame the U.S. for all the worldly problems, okay? I, I, I agree to some degree that if, if, if there's not a market for drugs, then there won't be any drugs. And there's a huge market for drugs in the United States. There's 330 million people there, for crying out loud. And there's a lot of drug addicts. So this is not a problem that's going to get fixed overnight or even in a year or two years. Who knows? So anyway... I left a, a link to this narco video in the description. It's about the assassination of presidential candidate and some other people. And I just thought it was interesting. I'm not going to sit here and tell you a whole lot about it. I want you to watch it, okay? So click on the link and go watch it. The next thing I want to talk about is shopping at the Mercado. Boy, I learned my lesson about that. I, I went finally. I've been here two years and four months now. I finally went to the Mercado downtown, Mercado El Centro, and um, I, 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 I'll say this about it, I'll never go back there again, never. If you know somebody that's selling you products that are coming out of that Mercado, all right, that you eat, I just say, you know, be careful, okay? I, I don't know. I, I was not pleased with what I saw when I walked through that place. I didn't, I saw so much unsanitary conditions and it scared me to death. I'm sorry, local people. I'm sorry. Stella told me that the Mercado is, is not for everybody, okay? I, I, I have a problem when I see uh, red meat hanging in the air and flies all around, not temperature controlled. Chickens laying legs up, you know, and uh, that looked like they'd been there for days. I'm just, I don't, I mean, I, I'm, I respect the culture and I can understand why some people are forced to shop there because it is a lot cheaper to shop there. But I don't recommend it, okay? You do what you want. If, there are lots and lots of sidewalk tendas that sell fresh fruits and vegetables, and they got beautiful fruit. It all comes from the same places, okay? And you may pay a little bit more, but you're not going to pay as much as you will if you go to the mainstream grocery stores like Mega Maxi or Super Maxi, okay? 
So I'm I'm saying this about the Mercado. I mean, I know there's there's a place for it. There's a reason for it being here, but it's not for me. I, I'll never shop in there again. I, I I don't know what we have for a health department here, but you know we spoiled Americans. We're we're spoiled. We where we have a health department that has a lot of standards that everybody has to comply with. And I saw things in that Mercado that that really disturbed me. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about it. I apologize to those who are offended by what I say. I'm sure there are a bunch that don't agree with me. We'll just have to agree to not agree, okay? Now, the other thing I want to talk about is the last thing. It's going to be a short video. El Nino. Uh, I saved some information about it. I'm going to read it to you. It's an article out of the Cominca High Life. It says the agency warns El Nino continues to strengthen. It says catastrophic flooding and drought are imminent. Okay. The International Center for Research on El Nino Phenomenon, CIIFEN, CIFEN, I guess, says conditions continue to favor a strong El Nino event and urges Ecuador coastal communities to complete disaster preparations. Okay. El Nino is not over. They're predicting that it could go into February. You know, they're predicting that we may have heavy rains that could arrive in November and continue through February 2024. I'll tell you folks, when we get lots of rain here, it's not pretty. Especially here on the coast, it's not pretty. Even here in my apartment, it's I get flooded. I'm on the top floor of this building and I get flooded because the rain comes under the doors and nearly comes through the wall in some places and through the ceiling. So, wonderful construction. But anyway, it's, it's going to, supposedly going to be here. Pray for us, okay? So that we're safe. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. That's it for TAT 15. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this channel please subscribe if you like this video smash that thumbs up button if you didn't like this video bite me i'm sure there's going to be a few of you that don't like this video bite me and i'll see that with peace and love okay see you on the next one ciao ciao Hey, uh, my man. Excuse me, hairnet. Yeah. Need a little of the quinoa salad, please, and uh, throw a couple extra cranny bees on top if you could, and uh, kind of need you to hurry up, Chief. Chop, chop. Next.